Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today I'm going to be going over OnlyOffice. Is it an alternative to LibreOffice? But before we start, if you would, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you do subscribe, you get entered into the contest for the Asus ZenBook 14 that we're giving away on August 31st, 2021. Now back to OnlyOffice. There are a few caveats I need to discuss before we get into this. One of the major complaints I get from people that are coming from Windows or Mac over to Linux is the aesthetics of some of the apps that they're running. Most in general is LibreOffice. They love the functionality, they just don't like the way it looks. Well, step in OnlyOffice. OnlyOffice has a great look to it, a great feel to it, but there is a caveat. It's local only. If you want to do things online, like right down here where it says create an OnlyOffice cloud account, or you want to do it for business where you can collaborate across the web or across the cloud, they actually charge for that. So basically what I'm saying is this part of OnlyOffice that you have right here is downloadable. It doesn't require you to get an account, doesn't require you to pay for it, but it has the beauty that LibreOffice doesn't and it gives you the functionality that LibreOffice has. Now, when you first open it up, let's go to document. For me, looking at this right off the bat, is it's very beautiful. It does have a Microsoft feel about it or a layout about it, but it's a little small for me. So what I wanna do is I wanna go over here and go to settings. I want to go to auto scaling to 150, and then I wanna go to a dark theme and I want to apply that. Now I want to go back into my document and as you can see everything's bigger and it's a lot easier to see. Your base layout, if you're going to load something or unload something, you load your document up here or save your document here. You can go to file, you can go over here and open and close. And what's beautiful about this is it will, if you notice right here, it is saving in a Microsoft format, the DocX format. So if you do this on your computer at home and you email it to somebody and they're stuck with Windows and they go to open that document, Word will open it and you won't miss a beat. So it has that functionality. Right off the bat, your home tab has everything that you have with like Microsoft Office and LibreOffice, has all your fonts, has bold, italicized, underlined. You can left align everything. You can middle align it, right align it, center align it, or justified I mean. And then right here you can do bullet points. You can also do numbering, multi-level lists, you can go with headers, you can change the style of header that you're going to be using, you can adjust your paragraph spacing over here. Uh, it pretty much gives you all the functionality that you're going to need. You can also go over here up to insert, you can have a blank page, page breaks, you can insert tables, images, charts, shapes, you can insert a hyperlink, headers and footers, date and time, text box, text art. You can throw in an equation if you want or symbols. Also on layout, you can adjust your margins, your orientation, your size. It gives you all of this US letter, US legal, A4, A5. It gives you a lot of customization and being able to make it the way you want to. Now, if you do something on here and you don't want somebody to copy it, just go over to a watermark. You can make a custom watermark and it'll put a watermark right across there that is unremovable. References, you got table of contents. You can insert a table of contents. You can refresh, put footnotes, hyperlinks, bookmarks, captions, cross-reference, collaboration. You can make track changes, display modes, set in previous, accept, reject. Now, if you're doing collabs, and but you're doing it through emails or you're doing it through your own cloud, you can set up and drop things into your cloud and then you can collaborate that way. But to do only clouds, cloud collaboration, or only offices, sorry, cloud collaboration is by paying. But everything I'm showing you right here and now is free of charge. And then your protection and your plugins. Now, if you go back to only office, you can go over to spreadsheet. Let's close the document out. And it brings up the spreadsheet in only office and you're gonna be able to use the same things that you use when you're using Excel. Okay. Right here off the bat, you've got the same options on home. You've got your text, your, your centering alignment, your bold italicize. You can insert everything the same way, charts, text art, text box. You can put all your tables 
in all your algorithms that you use in Excel, you can plug into here and they will do the same factoring and figuring as you would do in this. Then you can change your layout, your formula, your data. You got a pivot table, collaboration, protection, view, plugins. There's YouTube plugin, translator plugin on Google. Uh, you got a thesaurus. So everything you need is right here across the board. And last but not least, you also have presentation, which would be the equivalent of your PowerPoint. And you can go in and you can come over here and you can find a template that you're happy with. If you don't like that template, you can go online, download Microsoft templates, LibreOffice templates, any presentation template you can find online, you can use in here. And as you notice, it saves it as a PowerPoint, just like Microsoft. And what I forgot to show you a while ago, on your spreadsheet, it saves it in Excel SX. So you've got that too. But this was just a quick look at OnlyOffice. What I recommend you do, if you're presently using LibreOffice and you do not like the aesthetics of it, zip on over into your repositories or go online, download the Linux pack for the local install, throw it on your system, and play with it. Test around with it. I'm sure you're going to be happy. I've been using it for a little bit, and I am happy. I do enjoy LibreOffice. I really do, and it has a lot of functionality. And for those out there that really want free and open source software and don't want any proprietary images on their computer, that is definitely the way to go. What I am saying is if you want something aesthetically pleasing, only Office is definitely worth a shot. And I promise you, if you download it and put it on your system, you will be very happy. Thank you guys for watching the video today. If you would, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can be entered into the ASUS ZenBook 14 giveaway we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.